Cymex Lectularius, more commonly known as bloodthirsty parasites whose sole purpose is to multiply throughout your whole house and feast on you every night as they watch you quickly lose your sanity. Or even more commonly known as bedbugs. We've all heard the phrase, don't let the bedbugs bite. But how many of you knew they were real? Because I for sure didn't, and these guys are the worst. These guys like to cram themselves in the tiniest places of your furniture, then populate and spread to other parts of it. And they like going in your bed because you're there and you are delicious. I had a wooden bunk bed for the past 15 years or so, and there were a lot of tiny cracks in between the boards. So in any random circumstance, I just happened to get a bed bug colony in my room, they've got thousands of hiding spots to choose from. So guess, guess what, uh, guess what happened? My little brother started waking up with bites on his arm, along with sometimes finding them on his bed when he woke up. And when my mom saw this... Everybody out! Go, go, go! Let's go! Beep! Unfortunately, we don't have any nukes, but we did start using these gas canister things that make the bed bugs go night-night. Problem solved. So that didn't work. We started just sleeping on the couch because I thought, hey, if we're not in our bed, they'll have nothing to eat and then they'll starve. Genius. Until I looked up how long they can survive without eating. What? These things are immortal. I wasn't willing to sleep on the couch for a year, so one late night, since they're nocturnal, I went to look around the bed to find where their colony could be and eventually... Ugh. So I found their colony and stayed up till like 2 in the morning taking them out. I took care of a lot of them but knew I probably didn't get the whole job done so me and my dad took apart the bed, gassed the room and put the bed back together. That way the gas would actually reach throughout the whole bed. Genius! This time I was confident that there was no way any more bed bugs could- Hey. Uh -huh. Yep, I found them again. It was about two weeks after we took the bed apart that I started finding them again, meaning they were probably just somewhere else in the room and they just recolonized back to the bed. So I looked around and oh, what a look, look at that. They're right next to where they were before. <sighs> I thought you guys would learn the first time. After that, we took the bed apart again, gassed it, and thankfully we were smart enough not to try again, so we took it to the dump. If you ever find a bed bug, <laughs> good luck. You could either do what I did and try to take them out yourself, or I guess you could be professional and call an exterminator. But that's lame and very expensive. Thankfully, even though we did it all unprofessionally, they're all gone now. Haven't seen a single one in months. So yeah, I think I think we're good. Nah.